Hi, it's Wasabi, welcome back to the channel. We've got a battle on the El Haluf map, and we've got Maka from Fiddy Clan in the Concept 1B. He's platooned with a couple of mates from JT512 Clan, so shout out to them. Okay, yeah, this is the um, Tier 9 reward tank for the rank battles that came in last year. Um, so, you've probably seen it before, and we certainly have a review of this tank on the channel. It's um, yeah, a pretty powerful tank from a hull down position, it's got a very narrow turret as you can see from from here. Um, it's a pretty small target itself and good strong um, mantlet and a very small commander's hatch so in a hull down position and the hatch is right at the back of the turret so um, yeah, it makes it pretty pretty important on a playing hull down. We're going to see how well Maka plays the tank and use the map itself for getting the most out of the tank. Alright, so again, uh, in terms of hull down, this is obviously the favourite place to come. Uh, we've got plenty of humps and dips, and this is coming to this spot here to uh, catch tanks crossing, and there's a BZ-51. He's top tier in this game, um, top tier heavy tank, so he shouldn't have a real problem. And he's got a mix of um, standard and Premium ammunition, of course. The standard ammo is a APCR round, and the premium one is a heat round. So we should see a mix of, of different ammo types. Anyway, this, this is an encounter battle. There's certain links down there that um, was trying to cap it right at the start. Well, not necessarily trying to cap, but certainly using the cap to annoy people and you know, create a bit of demand to get people in the centre and possibly spot other tanks. Now. Maka's shot twice, one missed and the other one uh, didn't connect, or just hit the wheels I guess. Fires a blind shot there, and was using HG just then trying to do the most damage, but yeah, unfortunately didn't get an outcome from that, which is unfortunate. So he's reloading now with heat rounds, and there's that VZ-51 getting a side shot on him, so no dramas going through there, and probably get another one in before he crosses properly. Uh, he got into a position just angled enough and he tracked him, so picked up a bit of tracking assistance there and now he should be able to finish him, not finish him off exactly, get him down to a one shot. So again looking for a weak spot and he actually does get a kill as uh, someone else put some damage in. Alright, so one kill there to Maka. His team is down a little bit, uh, but uh, they're up on hit points so no, no need to panic just yet. He's got some tier 8 tanks in front of him. Went with an E75, which is top tier, but um, got an IS3 there on his left. And we've got a Turtle 1, which has got pretty strong frontal armour. If you can get to its lower front plate, there are no dramas, and you should be able to go through the uh, pike nose of the IS3 without any problems. They've still got premium rounds loaded, but um, probably because of the E75, I would say, and the Turtle. So just looking for weaknesses. Uh, G saw there puts in a shot. And he's firing premium ammo as well. So anyway, but that's you got the ammo, you can use it in my view, so off we go. Anyway, Ice 3 brought down to a one shot. And his platoon mates has gone in to get the kill and he gets the 75 taken out of the game. Maka takes out the uh, IS-3, and now we've got the turtle and the G-saw, and the turtle's being whittled down, now we can get C low the front plate, that's the um, gun depression at work. And we've got an STI down there as well, which is uh, interesting, he's, for a heavy tank, he's um, not taking a very forward position. Turtle manages to do some damage, but Mac has been keeping his gun working, he's already up to 3.5k of damage. Gets the kill on the turtle, that's three kills now to Maka. Uh, you can see the cap's ticking over, there's an ISU-152K down there, that's interesting, that's a pretty strange position for it. It does get hit by the um, STI, people are not afraid to use premium ammunition at the moment, so Mac is going through his own at a pretty fierce rate, he's only got four shots left. So he'll need to get rid of this STI before he runs out, I would say. He doesn't want to really run down and get into a brawl, and uh, there's four tanks on that side, including a KV-4. So it's just waiting for his team to wear down some of those other players. 
and also get out of the attention of Artie. You never see Artie that often in games these days, which is interesting. Not certainly not at the high tier, so this is a bit of a change from recent games we've had on the channel. And Mac are coming around here to reinforce the right side where he's got to excommunicate there with him, who's just about knocked off this KV4. Snaps a shot towards the KV4, but that doesn't penetrate. So I think he'll aim this one a bit more carefully. And he gets the kill. Thought he was going to shoot excommunicate there, but uh, must have just got in in front of him. And here we've got the 50 TP brought down to one shot. His pit team should finish him off. And excommunicate does indeed. So now the STI is isolated, and they should be able to again finish him off pretty quickly. Will Maka get a shot in? He should be able to. Oh, I could check it a side shot. Yes, he does, but he gets hit from the STI as well. He gets brought down to a one shot, so he doesn't really want to deal with that tank anymore. And luckily, he doesn't have to. The I3 takes care of that, which is nice. And uh, Artie still firing in shots there. Uh, so it looks like a bat chat Artie, I believe. So, pretty rapid rate of fire. So, Macca now on nearly 5.5k of damage. And coming out in cleanup mode. So this charioteer, well, I was about to say energy saw 188, he's been taken out by excommunicate. So between the two of them, they've now got seven kills. And there's the Artie on the run. Maka gets a nice snapshot in there. And will he get another shot in before he disappears behind the hill? We might just do that. And he does, he gets the kill. So five kills there to Maka. He is on a top gun. Got a charioteer up there. And he moves as quickly as he can to get under the gun of the charioteer, and the charioteer misses. That is the last tank alive now, the Charfature 4, which we've seen any other non-TD left, has been demolished, sent back to the garage. So a chance to get a top gun here for Maka, and certainly a chance to get to 5k damage, so that charioteer relatively full health, which is good, and that gets him his 6k. Arty fires and misses. And Maka just backing off, he doesn't want to again take a big hit from a charioteer if he's got the big gun. That will take him out of the game. Gets a side shot on the charioteer, pulls back as quickly as he can to avoid the gun. And the charioteer gets taken out by excommunicate, so that's the end of the game. Nine kills between the two of them. Excellent work. Alright, that was a ripper of a game there from Maka and his team. He got the high caliber award for the most damage, 6.7k uh, of damage. Got five kills, just missed out on um, Top Gun Award. Uh, he got the Confederate Award as well for damaging at least seven tanks that then got killed by his team. And he got the Steel Wall as well for bouncing the most damage. So he got 2.1k of bounce. So more than the hit points of his tank, which is uh, yeah, pretty pretty useful. And it shows you the strength of that uh, tank in the hull down conditions. Alrighty, now in terms of the team, so finished with 1622 base experience uh, that is a significant level of base uh, so excellent performance there and the super pershing that we saw uh, then dealing with the um, uh, kb4 etc ended up with probably an ace tanker as well so congratulations to pegasus 3003 and excommunicate his platoon mate uh, finished with four kills so nine kills between them and unfortunately um, Rizak uh, didn't contribute any kills, which uh, means they missed out on some pl platoon awards there. But that's okay. That's how the cookie crumbles. Going to have a great game every game. So on the enemy side, the STI did just under 3k, but he was the major contributor, and the rest of them, really, none of them cracked 2k. So a bit unfortunate there. But that's uh, that's the result. Anyway, so in terms of his own performance, he fired 30 shots and for a heavy tank, and that's a pretty impressive thing. It just shows your gun is operating right through the right through the game. 27 hits and 20 penetrations. Did fire a mix of ammunition types, but he did use all of his premium ammunition. Um, and it's a reward tank, not a premium tank, so it doesn't have the credit earning potential of a premium tank. Um, so he did end up with a loss of about 30k, but uh, I think that's definitely acceptable for the result that was achieved. So thanks Maka for that game. Uh, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please consider doing that. There will be more great content coming and we thank you for watching.